Another interesting historical fact in South Africa, in the early stages of the spirit of deen, Hazrat Mullah Sima Rahmatullahi established a masjid in the Msinga Reserve where he would strive for Allah and do the work of Dawat. And there were times where he was halted by the regime, the government parties, stopping him from doing Dawat, spreading deen. We once visited Hazrat Mawlana Ismail Qatra Dasab Rahmatullahi Afrehid and he mentioned to us that imagine the worry and the concern of Hazrat Mawlana. He was actually captured on camera, put on the front page, seeing, climbing through the walls to go into these reserves to do Allah's work and to do Dawat work. Allahu Akbar. Even when the government had hindered him from that, he never stopped spreading and sharing Allah's deen with the people. Imagine today when it is open and free for all and nobody would stop you from talking to anybody. Still we're not prepared to share Allah's deen and invite the non-Muslims. Hazrat established this masjid and uh, they commanded him to evacuate because they wanted to demolish the masjid. So he said, never, we can never do that because obviously it's not permissible to demolish a masjid. Everything was legal and so forth. It reached a level so this was the first masjid in that region and it reached a level where there was this person with his bulldozer obviously sent and uh, as he's coming to demolish the masjid Hazrat Mawlana Sima Rahmatullahi with a few others were in the masjid making dua and this person is on his way and he's thrown out of the seat and no one knew how then his boss came in angrily and he got onto the seat and as he came even closer the brand new bulldozer packed up and Allah Akbar then it was taken away with another machine then they never ever thought of demolishing the masjid again Allah preserve all our masajid throughout the world and as we mentioned these are the Mubarak places in Makkah Mukarramah Hazrat Khadija's home, Hazrat Arqam's home, Hazrat Abu Bakr's home. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was predominantly in these homes. Allama Azraq Rahimahullah and Al-Fasi Rahimahullah describes that this Darul Arqam was eight arm lengths long and its breadth was seven arm lengths. It was later on purchased by Hazrat Khayzuran and Khayzuran was the mother of the Khalifa Al-Hadi and the mother of Harun Rashid. Anyway, she preserved it and kept it because of it being such a center of Islam and it being a place holding such history. Then Hazrat Arqam Radilan with all his satis also made hijrah. They came to Medina Manwara. When he came to Medina Manwara, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave him a home in the Banu Zuraiq area of the Ansar. And in Medina Munawwara, his home was also known as Darul Arqam. The beloved of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made the pact of brotherhood between him and Subhanallah, the great Ansari Sahabi who made early efforts. Subhanallah, none other than the stepfather of Hazrat Anas bin Malik, meaning Abu Talha Zaid bin Sahal Al-Ansari. And they both shared an amazing close bond for Allah's sake. Hazrat Arqam bin Abil Abu Arqam and Hazrat Abu Talha Zaid bin Sahal Al Ansari radiallahu anhum. They both, Hazrat Arqam and Hazrat Abu Talha, participated in Badr, Uhud, Khandaq, and every expedition with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's famous in Badr that there was an amazing sword that he recognized, Ibn Aid Al Marzuban. It was among the booty, and Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Subhanallah, gifted it to Al-Arqam radiyallahu anhu.